We are back now showing some TLC to our house plants. And, and just like we feel the heat in the summer, our plants feel the heat as well, folks. So <laughs> plant stylist, author of Living Wild, all around great guy. Hilton Carter is here to help us show these plants how to thrive, survive, even when we're on a maybe a way on vacation in, in summer. Hi, I, Hilton. I was Hi. away in Hi. Paris, <laughs> lost, almost lost one of my plants. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. But first of all, let's just talk about the heat in general. How do we know? Or how do plants know when it's too hot? How do it know? How do, it know? How do, we, how, know? How do we know? Well, for one, in summertime, it can get a little hot in the home. Plants will start to curl, maybe, because yeah. okay. uh, their soil is drying up, not enough moisture, or they'll start to wilt. Yeah. So those are signs that it's getting a little too hot in your home, maybe. Or if you take plants outside, uh, you'll see that process as well. And what can we do, obviously? To uh, you can pull them away from the window. Okay. You can close your uh, uh, blinds or do sheer curtains to okay. allow yeah. filtered light in, not just hard direct sun in the summer um, but it's just being aware and being present to make sure that you're caring for those plants now some plants are going to need more moisture so you could do things like bottom watering your plants which is basically taking the planter if the planter has a drainage hole and placing your plant in a vessel like this okay and then if you can see here I'll do it on this side filling it up with oh, water the from the bottom so, so that, that doesn't that mess it up if you're it doesn't a place it slowly it like pulls that? moisture up through the bottom of the drainage hole the roots get the moisture that they need and that plant will start to bounce back. Bottom okay. water. Bottom water. That I bought also those bulbs off of the, those, you know, the bulbs you buy off of like the made for TV things. Oh yeah. Those do those work really well. work? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they really work, but they do work. And that's something <laughs> that we'll kind of talk yeah. about okay. here when it comes to the process of just caring for plants that might need a little bit extra help. Maybe you're not as home as much during right. the yeah. summer. You can do things like you can use these uh, terracotta spikes oh, and you I can take them. Well. Now, oh. summertime, we might all partake in a lot of you know, extracurricular activities sure. like drinking. Now you might have a lot of these extra okay. bottles yes. oh. left over. You take your terracotta spike, right. then you pour it just into there. Oh. 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 Put it in there. No and then what happens is because terracotta is porous, yeah. it slowly releases that moisture through the terracotta oh. into yeah. your soil. Oh, so wow. your plant so is getting the like moisture. Out. It's not. And you can <laughs> My use whatever. Did this on our porch. Wine I came home and I had an attitude. I'm and like, those are on our porch. And those are kind of like the same thing you're talking about with those bulbs. Yes. So instead of spending that extra money, you, you can repurpose your wine bottle. You know what I mean? Right and then this <laughs> here. This is all about capillary action. Now you can see there's the yarn. Did you just say We're capillary in, action? Capillary action. Okay. Slowly pour, pouring, pulling water from the water mm -hmm. glass here through the yarn into the, your oh. pot of soil. And it'll slowly grab that water. It'll make its way That's through so the yarn amazing. into your soil, keeping your plant moist. Still, I just saw some fruit flies flying around. Now I've got a problem in my life. What do you do about that? The Did you root flies? Did you really see that? Yeah, I just saw. Well, what do you do? Bottom watering, like we talked about before, helps in the process because if the top soil is a bit more wet, uh -huh. oh, yeah, that's right. where those yeah. gnats want to gather towards. Oh. So if you bottom water, it'll keep that away. You can also just try to keep them a bit on the drier oh, side. Yes. I have a question because yes. I this, this famous olive tree that you've given me that I've brought back to life yeah. now has three little olives growing on it. She shows us. That like, is so and I, I send pictures oh, to everyone all the time. Oh my goodness. And I think. <laughs> You told me once it once you hit May, put the plant outside. Yes. That's where it wants to be. Let it live outside. For sure. Can you do that with all plants? They're they're called house plants, but they're really plants. All plants okay. want to be outside. You just gotta be aware of where you're placing them. Now your olive tree loves a lot of light. Mm -hmm. So taking it out for that summer I just vacation. Move it around my deck all day long. Yeah. It's gonna love it. It loves everything about that. But you gotta just be aware of what types of plants like that type of light and just place them around your house where it's getting the light that's necessary. Okay. When so it dies, how do you know that you can whether it's time to let it go or you can bring it back to life? Life. Well, when it dies, I'm it's... not dies. When it starts to look kind of droopy. <laughs> when it starts to look droopy, if there's green, it's always a chance that that plant can be recovered. If there's green, recovered. there's always a chance. There's always a chance. That's good. I didn't do and that. the thing is. You might need someone to help you in that process, especially mm -hmm. if you leave. Yeah. So you got to get yourself a plant sitter. You have kids. You have mm -hmm. kids. You all have kids. Yeah. You wouldn't just leave them to do That's their own true. thing while mm -hmm. you're gone. You need a plant sitter. Really quickly. I Go for show, it. I've got a picture. I took a picture of a plant at home. This is my plant. That's in the worst shape of. Oh. Is this the same wow. plant that's been dying for <laughs> wow. years now? No, I brought it back. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> wow. So first of all, it's clearly not Jeez. dead because there's some green. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the issue? Nice. Well, this is a judgment-free zone, right, guys? Yes. yes. Um, so no judgment, but that's God. awful. Um, <laughs> moisture. That type of plant is a caliphate, just like this rattlesnake yeah. caliphate right here. It. it needs a lot of moisture. So you probably moisture. left 
enjoying Paris, yep. doing your thing, your I plant's did. suffering at home. <laughs> okay. You could have used the plant sitter. When you come back, <laughs> that plant's going to be back. I appreciate it. Hilton, thank you. I'm going to save that plant. Thank you, Hilton. Of course.